Well, we're back after last week's very upsetting chapter. I still uh, am seeing that. And no, I did not think it was similar to Ace's death from One Piece Minus Spoiler Alert. In fact, that death, uh, I don't even know why that should happen or why I'm actually sometimes okay with that. But I'm not okay with that death either. It's controversial because it was needed for another character to advance, but at the same time, it was his foolishness that happened. That, but we're not talking about another manga. We're talking about Eden Zero here. Chapter 167. And I still don't like the fact that witch has died. She didn't have to die. The only reason why she died is to give forth some sadness. And now people are saying, well, this is going to be character development. A character do not need grief to have character development! When are you all going to understand that? Alright, so what happens in the chapter? Well, this does confirm that Nero is the, the at least according to the news member. The rebellion celebrates their end and, uh, and of course the, um, the soldiers are, are in despair. However, um, even though they, uh, they have won, I mean the robot factory and all these people, they are not going to hurt all the people. They're just gonna turn them down, and uh, and it's even noted that one uh, of the Insta Union Army Jaguar unit is, uh, I think, trying to contact Jaguar but cannot. In a surprise moment, though, Elsie actually shows up and finds Siggy resting near a stone fro throne. As uh, he wonders why she would go come here, she just says that uh, Siggy has many enemies more than she, so. He is also brave. Once again throwing a question, just how many enemies did Siggy have before he lost his memories? It's here during actually he reveals that Siggy has now given up on his desire to actually take over Nero's empire. That was his plan, but as we saw last time, or not last time, two weeks ago, Siggy began to babble to Shiki that he made the wrong choice. We do not know what the F uh, this wrong choice is, but he always kept talking about destiny, destiny is fulfilled. And according to him, Shiki made the wrong choice because now he can no longer see the fate that actually was going to happen. And he actually says that now we are in world 30, number 31. Uh, let's see, were we in world 30 before? Now we're suddenly in world 31. For some strange reason, Siggy knows that, even though the only one who knew that were Noah, then the Draken, your through Noah's connection, the Eden Zero crew, and now actually Siggy. So according to him, Siggy's decision has not made it that he could be clear. I mean, the, the, the Siggy's uh, destiny was not clear then. Therefore, he cannot predict what is happening anymore. So he will no longer... Uh, have this empire because, well, he is not sure what will happen. Of course, Elsie wonders what he is talking about, but of course, Siggy do not answer. Despite giving up on the empire, though, he has not given up on his desire to eradicate humankind. He even taunts Elsie, saying that uh, he that she su should kill him right this moment. After all, he is is likely wounded. All Elsie asks, though, is this really the Siggy that she knew? But all he says is mocking her. Same. if you had died then you wouldn't have this mental anguish, would you? So Elsie decides not to kill him in this moment because after all, Siggy saved him. And a lot of people are criticizing this. I'm just saying, get a grip! And stop criticizing that the fights are bad. The fights are not bad because they are not meant to be long! And Elsie's decision may seem like foolish, but in the end this just shows that Elsie is a woman of honor. She gives you one freebie because she owes you. And when that is over, she will show you no mercy. It has nothing to do with stupidity. It's honor. So, well, so she will not take advantage of the injuries, even though Siggy says this is foolish. But uh, Elsie just proclaims that next time they meet will be enemies. Although uh, Siggy just kept laughing and saying that you have made the wrong choice, your emotion got the better of you. Now you lost the one only chance to kill him, to kill me. 
Which once again shows that this Siggy looks down on emotions and also explains why he's trying to brainwash robots into being soulless machines. For him, emotions is nothing. This is actually a, uh, an extreme contrast to Shiki, who feels like emotions are extremely needed. Siggy is a cold-hearted machine. He has absolutely no emotion at all. Back in the Eden Zero, they still haven't been able to recover from the grief. Granted, that who would recover from that grief? I haven't, and I'm still extremely upset they had to remove that character. Can they just bring her back? Of course, uh, Klein is more broke up than genius. So Wise begins to love for to Laguna. After all, he Laguna remembers that threat uh, Wise made, but who? But Wise says in the end he will take it back, because after all, Laguna himself also lost friends, rebels, and of course the princess, who in the end could not overcome her Stockholm syndrome, and died with a planet of the worst possible scum ever, a tragic existence. But in the end, it couldn't be helped. So, Wise says, I'm sorry for your loss. It shows that Wise really grows as a character. In the Garden of Well, Valkyrie always liked to say, the Four Star Shrine Maidens also broken up. They're even beginning to wonder if any of them are next. And given the fact that they now have killed off two Star Shrine Maidens, I'm actually beginning to think, yeah, maybe the story will end with every single one of them dead. I will be extremely upset if that happens. Come on, Hiromashima. That is not your shtick! You do not kill off characters like this. Bring them back already. So, uh, so yeah, they are very broken. but I, And no one is more broken, of course, than Shiki, who hasn't touched his food for two weeks. Because even though he's trying to do something... Oh yeah, and his eyes are still not recovered. That is even more upsetting of it all. Oh, why does Shiki has to lose an eye that cannot grow back? This entire arc has been nothing but despair. I hate despair. I don't care how important they are to a story. I throw in that in my own stories as well. I still don't like despair, okay? I don't want the story to be happy-go-lucky all the time. It's one of the reasons why Shonen Jump is kind of boring right now, because now the only one who's actually surviving is... Extreme comedy mangas. And while that is fun, it is at the same time no big action of it all. I don't like despair, but that doesn't mean I won't throw them in. I just mean that you can have a small despair and then have more hope. Instead of having more despair and no hope. So of course, Shiki cannot do that because he only remembers which is gentle smile. And Rebecca herself can also not recover well. As she takes off her shirt, she actually reveals the cracks on her bodies have become even worse because she has tried to use the cat leaper for two days. And as we know, the more she overuses that, but the more cracks appears on her body. And this is the most we have ever seen. Her entire half of her upper body is cracked. And she's tried to use Cat Leaper, but this actually confirms, it's, confirms us that despite the power of Cat Leaper, especially... Or at least reverse, or something like that. She has not been able to get back to the time of that moment. So she is using this moment uh, of being broken, that if Shiki does not get better, she will also likely die, because she wrecks herself. She misses which two. But uh, they need each other. So the two of them hug each other, in a very tender scene. It's uh, almost like a ship tea scene, but for the record, I always preferred Haru and Ellie. That was the best uh, um, Hiromashima couple that uh, he ever wrote. Not because it was at first, it's just they felt more natural than anyone else. So even though Sh Shiki can, of course, not move on right now, but he does say that he will have to accept this, because he has to accept the death of his friend and the proof that she lived. Because they are family. So yes, Shiki is not going to recover anytime soon. But he's doing the character development that he also must know he has to live. And uh, accept the fact that her death happens. I am not accepting her death. And I just want her death, even Valkyrie's death, to be reversed. But something tells me that will never happen. 
If it happens, though, then I will be very happy, because that proves that Hiromashima is still truthful to his roots. If that does not happen, though, then I'm actually wondering why the hell is he betraying his roots? So, either way, that, that's basically this chapter. Nothing but heaviness and despair. Although Sigi's situation is the most thing. His talk about destiny was because he actually apparently knew how World 30 would end, but now with Shiki's supposedly wrong choice, then nothing else, that, then things are gonna change. But that just once again shows that Shiki is a child who's going to defy destiny. But Sigi still proclaims to end humanity, even though he is a soulless machine ever. How will the Eden Zero crew bounce back from that? More importantly, who's gonna sh fly the ship now? And where is the Ark going to go for now? Because the Interstellar may now have taken over the temple. But I wonder what they're gonna say once they find the Jaguar is dead. Oh, and we still don't know what happened when Credo is reported also dead by the platoons over there. Yeah, the Eden Zero crew is not gonna be in any happier place of all this. So uh, either they will have to accept the death and move on to a next adventure, or maybe they will go to Xiao Mei and uh, ask what they should do next. Maybe she can reveal if there really were no other way around all this. Because I cannot predict what is happening of it all. Because killing off a character like that has actually broken the entire streak. I cannot see anything else anymore. But we still have to see the other Orasun says Galactica. Now Draken is incapacitated. The Nero is apparently dead. So now there's only four left. So now that you killed off Witch, DO NOT KILL OFF ANYMORE! Yeah, because the, we have had our despair now, we do not need more. But granted, Witch's role was the most important of it all. I don't see the more important role of uh, our sister and Hermito, which means very likely that they are going to die. I'm just saying, what is even the point of killing them? Uh, because they're important for the Eden Zero's full power. If they die, then who's gonna replace them? No one is gonna replace them, their family. But still, what is even the point of killing them except of having despair? Which is exactly why I do not want her to die. Now you can give me your thoughts if you have any. <sighs>